Hey guys, it's Mrs. Mallet, and I'm going to show you how to find the end time using a T chart. The I can statement is I can determine the end time in hours and minutes when given the start time and elapsed time. The vocabulary you need to know is elapsed. As a quick review, you need to know that when you're given a start time and end time, you find elapsed time. And now you'll be given a start time and elapsed time and need to find the end time. So the start time that I'll be using is 1215. The end time is unknown and the elapsed time is four hours and 25 minutes. On this t-chart, I'll be setting it up the same way as I do with an elapsed time t-chart. With the time on this side and the hours and minutes on this side. I also put the start time right here at the top and I label it start. So unlike an elapsed time t-chart, I'm not counting up minutes until I find an end time. This time I'm going to be using the minutes that I'm given under the elapsed time until I'm done, which will then give me the end time. So I'm gonna start with hours because that's pretty simple. If I add one hour, to 12.15, it will be 1.15. If I add one more hour, it will be 2.15. If I do it again, it'll be 3.15. And again, it will be 4.15. Right now, I've added four hours, just like the elapsed time I've been given. So now I want to add 25 minutes. However, it's not so easy to add 25 minutes to 415. I'm going to break it down. And it's easy to break down hours into 5 minute chunks and also quarter hours or 15 minute chunks. So I know that it's easy to go from 415 to 430 by adding 15 minutes. So I'm going to add 15 minutes minutes and I'm going to get, go from 415 to 430. I've used 15 of the minutes of this elapsed time. I have 10 left over and if you need to keep track of that you can do it on the side by just adding the or using the elapsed time minutes that you have, subtracting what you've used and going on um, and subtracting along the side here if you need to. So right now, I've used up 15 and I have 10 left over. Well, it's easy to add 10 onto, four, onto 30, so I'm going to add 10 minutes, and it's going to take me to 440. I've used up all of my hours, which are four, and I've used up all of my minutes, which was 25, so I've used up all of my elapsed time and I've ended with 440. So given a start time of 1215 and an end time, or sorry, an elapsed time of 4 hours and 25 minutes, my end time is 440. For example, maybe I go to Bush Gardens at 1215 and I spend four hours and 25 minutes hanging out there, going on roller coasters and having a great time. That means that I'm gonna leave at 4.40. So hopefully this T chart for end time helps you to keep track of when you're adding elapsed time to your start time so you have good luck with that. 